Alright guys, what is up everyone? Um, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. To be honest, man, I've been pretty sick. Um, but I feel much better. I'm way over my sickness. Let's go. Alright guys, what's up everyone? So I actually just got back home from work. It's about 6 p.m. right now. But there's something I want to show you really, really quick. This is crazy, man. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that these are my two monitors that I've been working with for the last month or so. Well, last couple weeks since I got my new uh, computer rig. But because the channel's been doing extremely well the last couple months, you know, I was honestly stressed out the last week or so, to be honest. I decided to treat myself out to something else. So what I decided to buy for myself is this. Dude. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that, dude. That is an Alienware 4K 120 hertz gaming monitor. Freaking huge, look at that. 34 inch curved, ultra wide. But yeah, anyway, I'm excited. So I wanna do a really quick Q&A really quick, but before I do that, let me set this up. Okay, so the big question is, how will I start opening this? Let's see. I have no idea, man. Okay, take out my trusty scissor. All right, I have my trusty scissor. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Come on. Dudes, look how big this thing is. I'm on my knees and it's already almost up to my head. This is insane. All right, let's do it. All right, everyone, so my computer is finally completely set up. I'm really excited to show you this. Check it out, man. This is my new setup. So let me go ahead and turn the camera on real quick. Okay, so here's my my Omega Secret Lab. Okay, come on, chair, stop spinning. Stay still. The most important part is the chair. This chair is amazing, and this is my setup now. This is my computer setup. This is a little too dark, huh? Let's make it a little brighter. All right, guys, so this is my setup. It is legit. I love it so much. Now, these are the two monitors I have. I have two 4K monitors. This is a 27 or 28 inch 4K Samsung monitor. This is my 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor, 120 hertz. 4ms I think millisecond whatever you call that pretty amazing it's perfect for gaming so I love it so much this is my Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard this is my I don't even remember what this is my Razer launch head kind of a cheaper mouse that I have and this is what I need to have all the time and so I love the setup a lot and so why I have this setup let me turn the camera around now now to be honest I only need one 4k monitor why do I have two um, I needed this ultra wide for pretty much editing uh, it's perfect for coding and even gaming as well uh, but the reason I bought this monitor because I thought all I would need was one ultra wide but I didn't realize that my table was wide enough to fit both of my 4k monitors which is perfect I do not need this monitor at all so this is connected to my Xbox underneath and literally like the only reason that I even have this monitor connected for my Xbox is so I can play with my co-workers on Xbox literally the only reason that is why I still have this monitor. Okay, so other than that though, man, um, the kind of computer that I do have, I have, actually, let me double check right now. <laughs> you know what's really funny, guys, as I was making this video, <laughs> I actually just got a, um, a package delivered from Amazon. The reason I have a package delivered from Amazon is because these headphones, these gaming headphones, are amazing. These Razer Manowar gaming headphones are awesome, but they're not necessarily good for editing. And editing on Premiere with a wireless headphone isn't good because of the delay. So I actually bought another pair of gaming headphones. Let's see what I got. Check this out, guys. If you guys follow Twitch, one of my favorite streamers ever since, honestly, Counter Strike has been Shroud. I've been following him for a couple years already, but I've been following him more than ever, ever since Apex Legends started going crazy. And so, I actually checked out the headphones that he has. And so, which is actually perfect timing for making a what is my desk setup video, I got the Hyper Cloud Flight wireless gaming headphones and what's amazing about these headphones is that the battery life on this is actually 30 hours and because these are gaming headphones there's not really a delay whatsoever when it comes to editing with this there's no delay with these gaming headphones too but when i use my sony's there's a huge delay and that's not good for anyway so but yeah so anyway let's go ahead and continue with the video let me show you my computer setup right now like what kind of computer graphics and 
processor and whatever I have right now, just to show you guys. So the kind of computer I have is I have an i7 8700, 3.7 gigahertz uh, processor. I have 32 gigabytes DDR4. I do have only 500 gigabytes of space, which I will upgrade very soon. My graphics card, most of all, I didn't realize that this just came out, but the graphics card I actually have is it says that I have a GeForce RTX 2080. And what's insane is that I, what I absolutely love about this is the fact that I'm actually able to play max settings on every game that I play, which is insane. But uh, yeah, so that's literally pretty much my setup right now. And so before I even end this video, I just want to do a really quick q and I had literally hundreds of questions asked on Instagram the other day, so I want to answer a few of them right now. Alright, and to make this a little bit more interesting, I figured as I'm actually opening this package that I just got, I'm going to go ahead and try to answer as many questions as I possibly can before I open this, get it ready, and yeah, you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and try to get through as many questions as possible right now. Okay, so first question from Jocelyn Angel is asking, how is your work-life balance as a developer? Because we're constantly learning, which is very true, which is pretty true. Okay, it's a good question. So work-life balance, to be honest, I think that does depend on company and company. Uh, when it comes to work-life balance, I think it really depends on the company you work for because the companies that I've worked for, my first company as a developer, when I was a junior, honestly, work-life balance is pretty amazing I had I just literally worked from 8 to 5 Monday to Friday and that's it and there are days I could leave early there are days I would come a little later which is pretty cool and pretty chill to be honest and like even where I work now as a developer for entrepreneur magazine I mean work-life balance is pretty amazing uh, there are times I do work a little longer and it's not because they asked me to but it's because I want to stay longer to get a job done because I didn't get it done within the time frame I should have right um, but there are word was like what one time when my boss asked me to work work pretty late and we had to stay a little late one time why because we're actually shipping a project live that's rare though like that's only happened once within the last six or seven months I've been working at my company and that's totally fine like work-life balance is amazing I mean I'm able to make YouTube videos for a living play video games and have a life have a girlfriend do things at church and my family and travel and do things that I need while doing all this and and, and I think at the end of the day what it's really all about is it is all about time Management. Okay, so this is a really good one because I think I'll be able to answer a lot of misconceptions people might have. So, um, McLean Aiden is asking me, what language do you work with most? Very good question. Okay, so the language I work with most, okay, um, is honestly HTML, SAS, and JavaScript. What I work with is literally, like I'm a front-end developer. Oh my gosh, this thing's hard to open. I'm a front-end developer, so the main things that I work with are front-end technology. Now, because we wanna get things done more quickly, oh my gosh, this thing's hard to open. Uh, what we do use a lot, a front-end framework that we use would be, oh, this is so frustrating. Hold on, let me open this. Wow. Like, are you serious right now? Kind of annoying, man. I can't open this at all. Got it. Um, okay, so uh, another, what are the, is, um, HTML, CSS, right? SAS, but even more than that, uh, we do work with not Bootstrap. We work with Materialize, which is very similar to Bootstrap. Um, we use things like Gulp. We use, you know, we work with PHP. Uh, we're transitioning to PHP 7, MySQL. We work with many different technologies. Uh, and to be honest, we're working with a lot of different things that I don't even know how to explain. I don't know the vocabulary and how to explain it, but I'll tell you this, I still have so much to learn in my company. I feel like I'm just holding on and keeping up with what I'm doing at the job. And there are times when I honestly feel like I'm lagging behind because I feel like I should be better than how I am now, but I'm not yet, you know what I mean? Other than that, JavaScript is huge. Uh, working with PHP is huge. That's something I work with as well and as a front-end developer. Uh, I work. I still work with jQuery, which I'm so happy because I love jQuery. Um, even You know, it's interesting. People hate on jQuery, and, and I understand why people might think of that. And my, People might think you're a noob if you work with jQuery, but did you know that even Amazon uses jQuery? <laughs> at the end of the day, more than just being good at a particular framework, is that are you able to use the tools that you need to get that job as efficiently as possible? So those are the front-end technologies that I work with. Dang, man, this is nice. Oh my gosh, check this out. Okay, really good question. Um, this is from the OJ04, and the OJ04 is asking, hey, what inspired you to keep programming? Good question, bro. Uh, what is it that kept me going was just knowing that I wanted to get out of my situation. It wasn't that I wasn't happy where I was before, but more than not being happy, 
uh, I just knew that I could do better with my life, to be honest. Um, I knew that that situation I was in was only temporary, but the only way to get out was hard work. And what was hard work for me was doing something I don't always like to do, which is study and that was always hard for me especially learning code because when i was first learning code to be honest man like learning code was hard for me at first i didn't love it at first i only started to love code and have a passion for it after i built my first website i only started to love code to be honest after i got my first job as a developer and i started working with code for a living and so like i didn't even love code right away and so what kept me going was knowing where I was at that point and what I needed to get out. And it's crazy because where I wanted to be is exactly where I am now. I literally have everything I want or could ever need to be honest. Uh, I could afford all these things without even blinking. Like, And why? Because of the hard work. Um, but there's something I want to talk about this. Actually, I probably, I just opened my package. So I'll probably end the video with this. Coming from where I came from, you know what I mean? Like struggling for so long, living off 39 cent tacos at Del Taco. I'm not even sure if they're 39 cents anymore. I'm sure they're more expensive now. I remember just wondering how it would feel to get to where I am today and how much more happy I'll be. I'll tell you this, I am happy. I am happy right now. Like I have everything. I have a $1,400 monitor. $300 other monitor, Xbox One X, 2000 PC. I mean, a thousand dollar light set, you know what I mean? A expensive, like all these different things. Expensive couch, king size, comfortable bed and TV and everything, right? I have all these things. I remember just dreaming about one day I hope I can afford. What's really interesting is that now that I could afford these things and I look back, all of this stuff, it makes life easier. That's for sure, right? It, it's convenient to be able to have these things. But these things don't make me any more happy, man. And, and I, I do get worried from literally the tens of thousands of people that watch my channel that you think having all this material will make you more happy, but it doesn't. I'm not any more happy than I was three years ago. I have more things, but that means I worry about more things. I have more money, but that means I have to worry more about tax. All these things that I didn't have to worry about, I worry about now. But at the same time, all the things I used to worry about, I don't worry about anymore. You know what I mean? Like having all these things, these, this material will not make you any more happy. And so don't depend on being a developer to make you happy. If it's your passion, then yeah, you'll be happy doing it. Find what will make you happy. This doesn't make me happy, man. God is what makes me happy. Being in God's word and doing things at church is what makes me happy. My, my, my girlfriend makes me happy. My family makes me happy. Being able to spend time with them makes me happy. And I'm able to do that, yes, because of this. But I'll tell you this, I'll be just as happy. Yes, I'll be struggling more, but I would be just as happy three years ago than I am now. Because I was thinking about this literally the last two weeks. I have everything I could have ever wanted and I'm not one bit more happy than it was a couple years ago. And material, money will not make you happy at all whatsoever. And if, you, if, if this material and this money is what you're trying to achieve, yeah, again, you won't be more happy. Life will be easier. But don't let money and material determine how happy you be. Find that joy in something else, man. And what I did is I found that too in God and in my family. And I want to make sure I never take those that for granted. But anyways, man, yeah, this is my desk setup. Yeah? Dang. How did we get here? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Honestly, this video is going to be kind of crazy, but I hope you liked it anyway. If you did, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if not, just leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time. New video going out tomorrow. This is Krishan. This is a life of a developer, and I'm out. Peace.